I'm going to make a metal hoop for inside the drum. I'm going to do that so that I can fasten the drum head to it. And I'm not going to use one of these pre-made ones. You see the weld here. Those welds occasionally will break. Here's one off of a drum. You can see right here a break in it. So <clears throat> what I do to eliminate that is I'll make a coil out of wire and then uh, there won't be a seam. There will be two ends but it's going to have a number of layers in the coil and that will be all taped together. So that will, will make a real strong uh, hoop where there won't be a welded seam for it to come loose. Okay, because this is springy, I am wearing safety glasses. <clears throat> um, the hoop, this is 14 gauge wire, it's a fencing wire. I want the hoop to be about an inch clearance all the way around. After you make a coil, I'm using the zip ties to hold the wire. It's a hardened fencing wire, so it doesn't bend very easily. Okay, once I have that, now I'm going to run electrical tape the entire length. And as I get to the zip ties, I'll either slide them or cut them. And the tape will then make it into one solid hoop with no welds. I'm pulling the tape to stretch it a little bit each time I go around and that will make it real tight. There, hoop is complete and it is about one inch all the way around. I have some rawhide <clears throat> that's been soaked and I'm going to wrap, wrap the hoop with this rawhide. This you could be using a uh, material, colored material, but I want the rawhide finish. Each time that I go around <clears throat> I'm pulling and stretching this and when it dries it'll shrink and be really tight. Here's the finished wrap tube with rawhide. The drum skin I let set overnight in a tub of water and it is stretched. I cut the diameter as large as I could from the piece that I had and uh, then I punched holes about an inch and a half apart all the way around and I'm lacing it loosely. Then I'll start drawing all the cord, trying to get it uniform and keep the hoop centered. And I start pulling all the slack out. I'm trying to maintain that one inch gap. The cord is paracord. You could use rawhide lacing <clears throat> and that would help make the drum even totter. Okay, I'm going to go around once again. The holes 
were <clears throat> the largest punch that I had and I punched three-eighths of an inch to the outside of the perimeter. Okay, all the way around and it's tied off. Now what I'm going to do is divide this in half. This will be the center here. Snug this up like this. Looks like I have center. Okay, now we're going to go and quarter this. Making a loop right here. And going to this side. and to this side snug it up couple half hitches I'm taking some rawhide and I am going to wrap a handle, wrap the quarter, and each time I make a wrap I pull it tight. Now we come down to the middle. Make another half loop. Come down to the middle again. And I'm going to bury the end of the paracord in this loop. Make another half hitch. I'm going to come down to the middle. And secure everything. And secure the final twist with another half hitch. And we'll cut that after it dries. This side here, we can tie a loop and we can use that for hanging. Now these edges, we want those to dry flat. Okay, I'm taking a ratchet strap. This is a cloth, this is an older cloth strap. I'm going to go around these edges. Now we leave it set overnight. Been drying overnight. I had it outside for a few hours. Not completely dry. These are all down. They're down good. 
Only thing left would be uh, if you want to paint or put some feathers on it. The colored uh, paracord left a nice uh, colorful touch to it. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.